So yes, of course, it's a bump in the road. But we have seen so many crises. This automotive industry is all about crisis. Well, it's clear that the decision to ban uh, pure ICEs is a purely dogmatic decision. Right now, the middle classes will have a hard time to access to the pure EVs. In a surprising news that has experts in the field and fans in disbelief, according to General Motors CEO Mary Barra, the automaker will stop producing electric cars and instead concentrate on developing hydrogen fuel cell technology. This sudden strategy change is a sharp break from the current fashion in the automobile industry, where EVs have long been regarded as the wave of the future. Up until this announcement, GM supported the electric vehicle revolution wholeheartedly. Over the years, they debuted a number of electric vehicles, with the Chevrolet Bolt standing out as a mass-market EV. The Bolt sought to provide consumers with a high-end but reasonably priced electric driving experience. GM also has plans to electrify a sizable portion of their portfolio by 2025 in addition to the Bolt. A number of electric vehicles will be introduced under the company's brands which include Chevrolet, GMC, Buick, and Cadillac. With these statements, GM was firmly established as a key player in the electric revolution, putting it in direct opposition to EV behemoths like Tesla and newly emerging rivals Lucid Motors and Rivian. Mary Barra's choice to move GM toward hydrogen demonstrates her confidence in the long-term ability of hydrogen fuel cells to surpass EVs. GM's hydrogen fuel cell endeavors In contrast to battery-powered vehicles, hydrogen fuel cells use hydrogen gas to produce energy on board only expelling water vapor as a byproduct. Compared to EVs, they have some special advantages, like faster refilling times and perhaps longer ranges. It's important to note that GM is not a new player in the hydrogen industry. The business has previously experimented with hydrogen fuel cell technology. The Chevrolet Colorado II, their test vehicle, was a hydrogen-powered truck created in partnership with the U.S. Army. The knowledge gained from such initiatives might provide GM a considerable advantage in the race for hydrogen. This action has broad and far-reaching repercussions, sparking a potential automotive revolution. Since Tesla is the industry leader in electric automobiles, it may have one less immediate rival. This may also require Tesla and other companies to take into account hydrogen's potential resurrection as a viable substitute for energy. Other significant automakers have also experimented with hydrogen. With its Mirai vehicle, Toyota, for instance, has advocated for hydrogen fuel cells. Hyundai has additionally expressed interest with their Nexo SUV. If GM's shift is a success, it may motivate other manufacturers to reevaluate their plans. Despite the potential benefits of hydrogen, this could result in a market that is fragmented with businesses choosing between electricity and hydrogen. GM faces considerable obstacles in the future, particularly when compared to EV charging stations, the infrastructure for hydrogen refueling is noticeably insufficient. This infrastructure will need to be developed with a significant financial and time commitment. While hydrogen fuel cells don't emit any emissions, hydrogen generation isn't always environmentally friendly. Currently, natural gas is used to manufacture the majority of hydrogen, which results in carbon emissions. In order for hydrogen to truly be sustainable, a broader use of more environmentally friendly production techniques is required, such as electrolysis powered by renewable energy. Globally speaking, a wide range of nations have expressed interest in hydrogen technology. Significant investments have been made in hydrogen infrastructure and research by countries like Japan and Germany. In particular, Japan has set lofty goals to become a hydrogen society by 2040 and sees hydrogen as a potential cornerstone of its future energy mix. The decision by GM to prioritize hydrogen may be more suited to these markets, creating opportunities for international alliances and cooperation. Promising perks for consumers A move to hydrogen fuel could offer a variety of advantages for customers. EVs, usually referred to as hydrogen fuel cell vehicles, can refuel in a similar amount of time as conventional gasoline vehicles. This alleviates one of the main complaints customers have about the lengthy charging periods for EVs. Additionally, EVs may have larger ranges than many other EVs, which makes them appealing to people who routinely travel long distances or have range anxiety. Given GM's extensive resources and long history of innovation, the automaker's migration to hydrogen fuel could result in substantial technological improvements. GM might support the creation of fuel cells that are more effective, creative storage options, and potentially even open the door for lower-cost green hydrogen generation. This dedication might encourage rival suppliers, it firms, and even rival businesses to step up their hydrogen R&D, causing the hydrogen ecosystem to quickly mature. Impacts on investors, environment, and consumers Investors and other stakeholders will unavoidably follow GM's progress closely. Going off the well-worn route of EVs will undoubtedly cause some consternation in the financial community. 
If GM is successful in proving that electric vehicles are both commercially viable and popular with consumers, this could result in more funding being provided for hydrogen initiatives around the world. On the other hand, if this action fails to provide results within the anticipated time frame, it may have an effect on GM's stock prices and investor confidence. Since EVs only emit water, the environmental effects of GM's choice cannot be disregarded. As was already mentioned, the creation of hydrogen has a significant carbon footprint. The firm will probably need to support not only electric vehicles but the full clean hydrogen manufacturing chain if GM is serious about positioning hydrogen as the future. This would entail supporting innovations in hydrogen generation powered by renewable energy, assuring the environmental friendliness of the vehicle over its entire existence. Consumers will experience one of the shifts made by GM's most immediate effects. It will be crucial to whether GM's hydrogen-driven strategy succeeds or fails. Early buyers of GM's electric cars, like those who purchased the Chevrolet Bolt, may feel abandoned or worried about the durability and resale value of their cars. GM will need to take proactive measures to allay these worries, guaranteeing long-term service support and perhaps providing trade-in or upgrade choices specifically for this group. Additionally, education on hydrogen and its advantages will be necessary for the general public, many of whom are only beginning to warm up to the idea of electric vehicles. Impact on Supply Chains, Partnerships, and Industry Competition Public education about hydrogen technology will be mostly accomplished through outreach, marketing initiatives, and practical experiences like test drives. Significant changes will be made to GM's supply chain and current alliances. Suppliers that were increasing capacity to meet GM's previously anticipated electric future may now need to rethink their plans. The creation of components for fuel cell technology, high-pressure hydrogen storage tanks, and other crucial pieces may need significant investment and cooperation. Additionally, GM's approach might draw in new partners interested in hydrogen technology, ranging from energy juggernauts eager to increase their hydrogen production capacity to startups with creative ideas. Different nations have different perspectives on sustainable energy and transportation options, but countries like Norway and the Netherlands have been enthusiastic about electric cars. Others might be more open to a hydrogen infrastructure, particularly if it is supported by a massive company like GM. In areas with a developing EV infrastructure, GM may have the chance to present hydrogen as a workable, if not superior, substitute. Governments all across the world are enacting laws to encourage the use of cleaner forms of transportation, with many of them offering subsidies for electric cars. The action by GM might cause lawmakers to reevaluate current regulations, possibly introducing incentives for hydrogen-powered cars or raising spending on infrastructure and research. Furthermore, the shift may result in stricter controls on hydrogen production to guarantee its environmental friendliness. Standards for hydrogen storage, transportation, and refueling may also be introduced or changed to assure safety and effectiveness. With GM's revelation, the competition in the automobile industry may take on a new facet. While the focus of competition has typically been on elements like speed, comfort, and design, future conflicts could arise over infrastructure availability, environmental impact, refueling times, and energy efficiency. This might usher in a vibrant era of vehicle innovation with businesses competing to offer the most effective and user-friendly propulsion systems. Thank you for joining us on this captivating journey through the Marvel. If you found this exploration of innovation, performance, and style in the world of supercars as exhilarating as we did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. We have more thrilling content coming your way. If you have any questions, thoughts, opinions, or any other groundbreaking developments in the automotive industry, feel free to share them in the comments below. We value your input and would love to hear from you. Stay tuned for our upcoming videos where we delve into the future of automotive technology, stunning designs, and the ever-evolving world of supercars.